Hello, my fans, sneak peepers, and curious friends. I'm difficult and demanding. If you want to know my real name, then hold still, and I might bring your wish to fruition. Before I begin, you can find this show in iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, Blueberry, Google Play Music, TuneIn, YouTube, and Stitcher. Now, unlike the other people in your life, I actually care about what you think, what you don't think, and what you try not to think about. Welcome to the Difficult and Demanding Show. I'm real, uncensored, unconventional, and shoot straight between the eyes. My show is outrageously honest with a keenly witty view into life. Yes, I said life. That's what we do every single day. We are living life. Well, some of us at least. I'm going to provide laughter, shock, while touching your inner being. Maybe your body if you're lucky. (laughs) Why do I call myself difficult and demanding? Well, first, because I can. Two, because I'm not supposed to. Three, this is the most important point. It only means something if I give life to it. So, I'm going to slowly unveil you to you and give you a new life to live. Difficult and demanding is going to liberate every part of your being and maybe your body. I, your host Tara, am keeping it authentic, intriguing, and provocative. If you have entered my world, then be honest with yourself about it. You want to be here. And you know I want you here. Peekaboo. I see you. I do see you. And you're starting to see yourself. Tell me what you see. Do you like what you see? Do you recognize what you see? Tell me what do you see when you look in the mirror? When things are going well, comfortable, familiar, it's easy for us to put on a mask and hide who and what we really are. But the whole world is going through an unimaginable time. Other generations have gone through something like this, but we haven't gone through this. So it's unnerving. It's unfamiliar. It's foreign. It's debilitating. It's suffocating. Everywhere you turn, there's restriction. You can barely move. You can't breathe. You can hardly think. You don't know where to turn. Well, no, yes, you do. You get to turn to difficult and demanding, but <laughs> that's besides the point. We know that game called Peekaboo, I See You. And I'm telling you, Peekaboo, I see you. And now, with all these restrictions and stay at home, you're beginning to see yourself. Because you can't hide yourself. I don't know if you live alone, you have roommates, you have a family that you reside with. But a lot of us are getting very up close and personal with who and what we are. For some of you guys, The shit is daunting. You don't know what to do with it. Others, you find it very liberating. Freeing yourself from all that was and which was not very good for you. But you thought it was good for you. So you went with it. Things nowadays, we don't know which way it's turning. But I know with great confidence that you are encountering aspects of yourself that one, you did not know existed, or two, you tried to hide from the motherfucker. But you can't do that now. You can't travel, you can't socialize, you can't party, you can't do all the things that you used to do. All you have are you, your thoughts, some distractions like difficult and demanding, but it's okay because I see you. And I want you to see you too. 
What do you find yourself thinking about or doing that you work very, very hard to avoid or you thought you would never do at all? These times are bringing out things that are just, it's a lot. It's probably a lot for most of you to deal with because this is not what your life is supposed to look like. And when it's not the way it's supposed to look like, it feels very, very, very piercing and uncomfortable. But I'm telling you, you have nothing to fear. It's okay if you take a peek. Take a peek at the real you. Everybody's true colors are starting to come out because you cannot hide. When you know the routine, you know how the day is going to go, you know what to expect, then you can play the game really well. But everything that's going on right now, it has everything upside down, topsy-turvy. What was up is now down, and what was fucking down is now getting ready to come the fuck up. Do you understand? And some of you can keep up. Most of you can't keep the fuck up. Because you don't know what to do with your script, your act, your role, everything that you concocted so well. But it's all good. Everything changes in life. The question is, how do you change with it? Do you embrace it? Do you resist it? Let me give you a piece of advice. The harder you work to resist what is actually going to happen, the more difficult it is going to be for you. So if you were in a unhappy relationship, you're probably going to be (laughs) extremely unhappy now. If you were sexually unfulfilled and you were tolerating that shit, not enough masturbation in the world is going to get you to fuck through this because we have to now start dealing with the issue, our real issue. And our real issue is becoming familiar with who we are. And I'm asking you, Who the fuck are you? Because this podcast is very illicit, risque. And if you're listening to me, that would naturally imply that you have a curiosity for those types of things. Now, why it's illicit? Probably because I'm talking about things I'm not supposed to be talking about. Risque, again, doing and talking about things that I'm not supposed to be talking about. But it's all relative. It doesn't make you good. It doesn't make you bad. But what I am hoping that all of us will be able to do is take a peek at the real you. The real you. Who the fuck are you? Or at least, who do the fuck you want to be? Who do you want to be? You can feel it deep inside. I know we all do. Who are you and what do you want to be? And the best way for you to figure that out is to look at what piques your curiosity, your curiosity, your interests. And if you listen to me, that would mean that difficult and demanding is one of them. But not me per se, just the podcast, the feeling, the image, all that comes with it. Is that you? Well, if I can tell you, if you listen to one full episode and come back for more, <laughs> yeah, there's a part of who you are, but it's It's all good. It's really, really all good. But let's get back to it. Peekaboo, I see you. Do you like what you see? Can you handle what you see? I don't see why not. Because it's you. How difficult will it be for you to embrace all that makes you you? Again, you hear those whispers in your head about what's right, what's wrong. But if you were to get rid of that, tell me what you see. Because this global pandemic, as I may have mentioned before, will have you doing things in a way that you never thought that you would. It will have you seeking out people, places, and things that you would normally avoid. Or you would only peek at, lurk. But it's hard to do that now. Because with great restriction, it makes us want to explode because we can't handle it. We can't take it. We want out. We want it to end. And the best way you can get it to end is by things that stimulate you, titillate you. And I'm asking you, what's calling you? What's calling your name? 
when we are going through difficult times, it is something that we don't know what's going to happen one moment to the next. And we're all trying to find um, safe haven, safe ground. Some may find it sooner than others. Some of you may not find it at all. But everybody's life is being changed. And you're required to do a lot of deep reflection. Now, a lot of you people probably don't like to deeply reflect. But I'm asking you to do so. What is it that you really need? What is it that you really want? And do you have it right now? And if you don't have it right now, what are you willing to do? Or what are you doing to have that a part of your life? Yeah, that's a price to everything. And you're not sure if you're willing to pay that price, are you? So you keep hiding, hiding, hiding. Because you don't want to be seen. And you don't want to see yourself. But the longer you run, the longer you hide, the stronger your urges are going to become. It may come out as anger, despondency, loneliness, anxiety, frustration, sexual frustration. It comes out in a number of different ways, but I can guarantee you everybody's being touched. The question is to what degree are you being touched? Because if you're going with the flow, it will be relatively easier, smoother. We're at a time where you can no longer deny what it is that gives you life. You can't deny it. You can't hide it. Because there's nowhere you can go to distract yourself. You don't have, I mean, all the Zoom calls in the world can't distract you from you. You're unhappy. You're miserable. You're stifled. All you want is release. And the only way you can get release is by taking a look at where you're going and where you are. Which is why I said, peek a boo, I see you. And if I can see you, can you see yourself? Are you willing to see yourself? You have too much to lose, don't you? Seeing yourself comes with a humongous price tag that you aren't willing to pay. But what if I told you if you paid that bill, you would be happy and you can start anew? You're too old to start over. You're never too old to start over. Something that gives you something that gives you life and happiness. It rejuvenates you. It gives you years on your fucking life. Misery kills you. Denying kills you. Hiding kills you. Don't you want to take that weight off your chest, that foot, foot off your neck? Don't you? Or you like sneaking, you like hiding, you like denying. Why do you want to do all that? That's too much fucking work. Too much work. Why do all that work when you can actually be using that energy to be happy, to fulfill, to explore? Again, what do you want? What do you need? Some of you guys with those fake ass happy faces, you want mean son of a motherfucker. Mean. You can't hide it. All you baking cookies and doing all this fucking bullshit. That's not really what you want to do, but you're doing it to uphold your Instagram image. All that shit is crumbling. It's falling. Are you panicking and running? But you can't, you have nowhere to run. You have no place to go because you're realizing no one really cares about your fake ass image. And you're doing all this work to uphold something that is not true. What's wrong with the truth? What's wrong with the truth? It's too nasty. It's too morbid. What is it? I told you to embrace yourself. What do you have to lose by embracing yourself? Take a look at who you are. I know it does not fit what you thought. Nowadays, nothing fits. Nothing makes sense. Every time you think you've made headway, we get knocked the fuck back. And it's for a reason. 
everything is being broken down. It's being changed. Now, either you go with the flow of the energy that's around you or you resist. But I'm telling you not to resist. Not to resist. How do you think treasures are found? You have to explore. You have to go where no one else, no one else wants to go. Because that's how you get the rewards. And I'm telling you, the reward is a better you, a better life. Mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Don't you want to cleanse and purge yourself? Don't you want to show yourself and others how you can truly, fully be happy? Yeah, you thought X and life was supposed to go this way. But life just does not happen. At least for me, it does not. It was supposed to look one way. And it does not look that way at all. There's nothing you can do about that. But what you can do something about is what brings you joy and happiness. Now, it can be some nasty, perverted stuff, or it can be plain old vanilla stuff. The fact is, what are you doing about it? I know a lot of people are feeling sad, depressed, anxious, maybe suicidal. But I'm telling you, you don't have to be. All you have to do is sit back. Maybe have a cup of tea, small glass, glass of wine, cup of coffee, whatever it is that you like to drink. And sit back and introduce yourself to you. Get to know you. How do you get to know you? Well, the real you will tell you what is right for you. But we have a habit of listening to the wrong part of ourselves, which is why we are in the predicament that we are. We make excuses, justifications rationalizations for things that we should not. So how do you get to know the real you? Well, the real you is how you feel. It's how something makes you feel, your initial reaction. You know when you go to a beautiful place and it makes you feel warm, relaxed, and safe? That's the real you saying, hey, this is good. Or it's you who's walking to the car late at night and something tells you something is really, 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 really wrong and you need to be safe. That's the real you. The real you does not talk in your head. The real you comes through in sensations in your body, all over your body. It's a gut reaction, a heartfelt reaction. The real you will tell you whether your partner, your spouse, your best friend, whether you need to be um, saying goodbye to those motherfuckers. The real you will tell you if you need to bring someone closer to you because they're good for you, they're right for you. The real you will tell you all that you need to know. But you just got to shut the fuck up and listen. So I said, peekaboo, I see you. I see the real you. Do you see the real you? Because the real you is better than the you that you are today. But yeah, it's going to require a heavy, heavy price tag to get to where you need to be. And sometimes you have to get rid of a lot of stuff. To make room for what is truly worthy in your life. So what do you want to do? You want to stay with status quo? Or do you want to move in the direction that you already know that you're being forced to go? Those who do not go in the direction they're supposed to go. You get broken, tattered, shattered. Life is unnecessarily hard. The funny thing about human beings is we don't like to make change unless the shit hurts really, 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 really fucking bad. And even then, we like to backtrack. We like to backpedal. Some of you who are going through breakups, instead of moving full-fledged ahead, you want to go back and taste and dance with the motherfucker that you know you should not be with. Yes, you like to backpedal because you feel that's safe. It's safe because it's familiar. But what if I told you you're safer moving forward instead of going backwards? What do you have to lose? Oh, you don't know what you're going to gain. So you're better off sticking with what you have, which is not much, than to proceed forward and end up with nothing. If nothing gave you peace, calm, happiness, fulfillment, then what are you worried about? Tell me what you see. Tell me what you hear. What are you saying to you about your life, your career, 
your friends, your financial status. What are you seeing that you don't like? Maybe it's your body image. I don't know. I can guarantee you everybody has some problems that they're trying to deal with. Everyone has some things that they're trying to break free of. And I want to know, what are you trying to get rid of? Or maybe you're trying to hold the fuck onto something that does not belong to you anymore. There is nothing wrong with any one of us taking a deep, hard look at ourselves. Because some of us are extremely, extremely fucked up, okay? And those people are in denial. And then some people, they think they're really fucked up, but they're not fucked up at all. Their point of view is skewed, is wrong. But now we're in a time where things are going to get really, really real. What we know or what we thought we knew, it's no longer the case. Now, where I live in the San Francisco Bay Area, we're going under lockdown again because of um, the number of cases going up at an unbelievable pace. So we're going back to having these heavy restrictions placed upon us. Now, I don't know about you. I don't like to be restricted. And I have a feeling none of us like to be restricted. But nonetheless, we're being restricted again. How are you dealing with that anger, the frustration? What's coming out with you? For those of you who are cheating, you can't cheat the way you want to, probably because you're scared to fuck for your life. For those of you who are out drinking and socializing, you can't do that. So what are you doing now? What ingenious ways are you coming up with to deal, to adapt to what's going on? Because you have to adapt. If you're not adapting, then you run the risk of catching the virus. So you have to come up with some new ways of doing things. Or maybe you need to stop doing things. Or maybe you need to do some things a lot more. Or maybe you just need to get honest about the fact that you are fucking cheating and you're going to continue to do so and you don't give a fuck. Whatever. The time is, it's time to get really, really honest about you your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions. Are you ready to do that? Because you have no choice now. But you'd always have a choice. But when you get restricted enough, you get pushed down in the water enough, eventually you have to come the fuck up back for air. And coming up for air means getting really, really honest about who you are, what you are, what the fuck you want, and what you're going to do about it. And taking full accountability and responsibility for you and making self-honoring decisions. So I'm asking all of you, peekaboo, I see you. Do you see yourself? Are you willing to see yourself? Are you willing to show yourself to others? Because this is the time where you have to do it now. Who you were, what you were, how you were trying to be, why you were trying to be, that shit no longer works. It no longer works. It's a new game. New players, new fucking rules. And I firmly believe if the ground underneath you was cracking, And it's cracking fast. You get the fuck, you get with the program. You get with it really, really fast. And you start defining the rules of the game for you. Because if you wait and let life decide and define how and what you're going to be, you're usually going to end up on the short end of the stick. So I believe in getting ahead of the curve. Getting ahead of the curve. By accepting and surrendering to things that are going on that's way beyond our control. Now, some of you may tell yourself, oh, this is a hoax. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. But whatever it is, whether it's real or hoax, it's changing our lives. It's restricting us beyond imagination. Our freedoms are being withheld from us. The ability to come and go, do what you want. You you got curfews and all these other things that are happening. Who you can socialize with, who can come over to your house, who can't go over your house. You got to be outside. We don't like being told what the fuck to do. And that's why I said these times are bring out the real you. So that's why I said peekaboo, I fucking see you. I see you. I see you. And do you see yourself? And can you embrace yourself? You got to. Now you're looking for things to entice you. Excite you. You're looking for places to turn. And the more places you look, the more likely you are to get caught about who you really are, what you really like, and what you really need. Before we can hide, taste it here, taste it here, dibble dabble. But now you can't dibble and dabble. 
Because whatever the hell you're doing, the people you live with are probably going to catch your fucking ass. And if you're not doing it in the house, you're doing out of the house, then you're running the risk of possibly getting affected and dying or exposing your beloved ones. So you're having a really hard time navigating and doing some of the naughty shit you used to do. So if I said, if you're naughty, be naughty, bring it out. Oop, too much for you. <laughs> too much for you. I understand. You take baby steps. But you already know what I'm talking about. Whatever you used to sneak and do, try to do, avoid, dibble and dabble now and then, you're probably going to get caught. There's pressure for you to be exposed. And it's very difficult because you can only go without your lifeline for so long. Now, what your lifeline is, only you know. But I told you, go with the flow. You never know where you're going to end up. And it's okay. Because there's always somebody, some other people who are just like you. But can you embrace you? Can you accept you? Can you be courageous and show the real you? You're going to have to be. Because if you keep trying to hide under these circumstances, which we don't know how long is going to go on, I can guarantee you, you're going to have a very, very hard time. Harder than most. I say get with the program. Expose yourself before anyone else can expose you. Get to know yourself so you're comfortable and you're confident and you make, you know, excuses, explanations, justification for who you are. You are what you are. You're, you are how you're supposed to be. So stop running from you. If you're mean, nasty, jealous, be that. Be that. Don't pretend to be what you're not. If you're exciting and free and fun loving, be that. Don't pretend to be something else. If you find that your job, your home life does not support the real you and how you are, then you know where you need to be, where you need to make changes. But you cannot avoid the fucking changes. No one is going to be able to avoid the changes. It's going to have a ripple effect, a multiplier effect. Everybody is being impacted. And we have to reinvent ourselves. And if you think you can escape what's going on but not reinventing yourself, you're in for a very, very rude awakening. There's nothing wrong with being illicit, risque, taboo, forbidden. There's nothing wrong with embracing who and all that you are. The question is, once you see who you are, how are you going to move through this world? How are you going to impact people with how you are? How are you going to make the world? Are you going to make it better or are you going to make it worse? Are you going to make yourself better or are you going to make yourself worse? Some of y'all can't change your nasty ass spirits. It is what it is. The fact is you should be aware if you're nasty, if you're a nasty ass person. Be aware. At least you know what to do and what not to do. But I'm asking all of you. Because a lot of the world is going under an influx of greater restriction. I'm asking you to get comfortable. Don't get caught up in all these negative, dark emotions of depression, anxiety, loneliness, and sadness. There's always something you can do about it. But you have to be honest with yourself to be able to do something about it. You have to get real honest. You do not have to suffer alone. You do not have to feel judged alone. You don't have to do any of that. It's a matter of your perspective and your choices. And you always have a choice. Now, choice requires some balls and some goddamn backbone. But if you find that you have a spine and you have some balls to go along with it, it makes things a lot easier to be proactive than reactive. So for those of you who listen to my podcast, since we're all under COVID-19 restrictions, if you are interested in having a live um, conversation with Difficult and Demanding with a group of others, then I do, I have started a meetup group in which I meet with others and we discuss whatever podcast episode that I have selected and we discuss it on a weekly basis. So if you're interested in getting that link, 
to join these weekly discussions. And I keep in mind, this is a private group. So you will have to get a meetup account and then you would have to join my group and RSVP. Um, feel free to contact me. My email address is listed at the bottom of my webpage. And my webpage is www.difficultanddemanding.com. Send me an email and I will send you the link so that you may join my weekly discussions. Um, If you think my podcast is crazy, my discussions will probably be crazier. Who knows? It depends on my audience. But feel free to join. At least you'll have a group of like-minded people that you can engage with. And um, the meetings are not very, very long because I don't want to waste everyone's time with unnecessary Zoom calls. But I think it's very important for us to get comfortable and confident in who and what we are and how we are and be around like-minded people who can support us and won't judge us and um, see where life takes you. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. Until the next time. Are you disappointed this has come to an end? Well, it doesn't have to. Reach out and follow me on Instagram at Difficult and Demanding and let me know what you think about this episode and my show. Episode 120 will be here the week of December 7th, 2020 from Difficult and Demanding. 